My name is Kaylee, and in this video we are going to take a look at a claim that human ancestors may have evolved in Europe and not in Africa. So over the past weekend, I came across an article on the website GreekReporter.com that fossils in Greece suggest that human ancestors evolved in Europe and not in Africa. This is not the first time that I'm looking into European Miocene apes and the plausibility that human evolution originated in Europe. I've made videos on Dryopithecus and Danuvius gugamosi, which are European Miocene apes that may have been bipedal. There is indeed a possibility that these hominin species migrated into Africa and that they may have been ancestral to the Australopithecus species, which in all actuality still doesn't change the fact that human evolution itself played out on the African continent, but that origins of the ancestral species may have originated outside of Africa. This means that the out of Africa theory still holds true, as I've covered in my out of Africa explained video that I made earlier this year. So I wanna quickly take you back to Europe during the Miocene and the primate species who lived there during this time. I've made a couple videos on the European Miocene apes in the past, like I said earlier. And I will also say that in the near future, I will make a video on Grysopithecus freibergi, as this is the one species of European Miocene great apes that I haven't covered in detail on the channel yet. Of course, there are more species that I haven't covered yet, but this is one of the most notable species. But to give you a quick summary and understanding, I'll tell you about the currently known ape species that lived in Europe during the Miocene. So as you can imagine, there were a couple of different hominid species in Europe. These species are Dryopithecus danuvius gugamosi, Grysopithecus freibergi, Oreopithecus, Hispanopithecus, Rudapithecus, Anapithecus, Anoiapithecus, Buronius, Griffopithecus, Griffopithecus suesi, Mesopithecus, Uranopithecus, Piropithecus, and Pleopithecus. Yeah, that's a lot of difficult to pronounce names of quite a lot of species. A lot more than most of us would have thunked. So the most notable hominin species that most research focuses on are Danuvius gugamosi, Dryopithecus, Grysopithecus freibergi, Oreopithecus and Uranopithecus. The reason most research focuses on these species is the plausibility that these species may have migrated back into Africa and eventually through evolution led to the Australopithecines, which as most of you watching this will know are our hominin ancestors, the most famous one being Lucy and Australopithecus afarensis. So over the years, many articles have made the same claim, that human evolution originates in Europe due to ape species from the Miocene having been discovered in Greece, Turkey and other countries. But these ape species have not been found to have been bipedal, and as of this point in time, there is no evidence for these European Miocene apes to be directly ancestral to the Australopithecines. Okay, so now that I've quickly explained the European Miocene apes and how there is a slight possibility that they tie into our human evolution, it's time to take a look at what the Greek Reporter article says and how correct their claim is that human evolution may have started in Europe instead of Africa. The article starts by talking about a recent analysis of fossils that were discovered back in the 90s in the village of Nikiti in northern Greece. These fossils are an upper and a lower jaw and are approximately 8 to 9 million years old and had first been linked to the extinct ape Uranopithecus. But after this most recent analysis, the team, led by David Began from the University of Toronto's Department of Anthropology, has determined that these fossils likely belong to a male ape from a potential new species. Began also led a research team back in 2017 that determined that Grysopithecus, a 7.2 million year old ape, could have possibly been a hominin, thus bipedal. It is a possibility that Grysopithecus freibergi was a hominin sharing ancestry with the Homo genus, but not the Pan genus, Pan being the chimpanzees, of course. This would make Grysopithecus the oldest known representative of the human lineage after the human-chimpanzee split. 
Graecopithecus is about 200,000 years older than Sahelanthropus chadensis, which is the oldest known hominin found in Africa, but is not necessarily ancestral to the human lineage. I've actually covered Sahelanthropus chadensis in a video, which I will link in the description down below. Of course, as you can imagine, there's been a lot of pushback on the ideas of David Began on Graecopithecus and Europe possibly being the birthplace of hominins. So as of this point in time, there's not enough evidence to be making any claims that Graecopithecus freibergi is a direct ancestral species of the Australopithecines and thus the Homo genus. The Nikiti fossils predate Graecopithecus by 1 to 2 million years, and the article on Greek Reporter claims that the Nikiti fossils would have directly predated Graecopithecus. Began himself does not believe that the Nikiti ape fossils belong to a hominin, a bipedal species, but he speculates that it could represent the group from which hominins directly evolved. Of course, that is, if you believe his speculation that Graecopithecus freibergi was a direct ancestral species to the Australopithecines and thus us humans. David Began believes that his speculation on the Nikiti fossils will be rejected by many experts, but he hopes that this scenario will at least be considered. So why would he even want this? Well, one of the reasons as to why he wants other scientists to at least consider this idea uh, has everything to do with the fact that many animal species that we find in Africa today have their origins in Europe. That if the antelopes and the giraffes could get into Africa 7 million years ago, why wouldn't the apes have done the same? Which is a valid question to ask, if I'm going to be very honest. Of course, there's a possibility, and we cannot truly rule out the plausibility of these ideas. They are indeed plausible. But as of this point in time, there truly isn't enough evidence pointing to his idea being the case. Of course, it's important to stay open-minded, as there are currently still some unanswered questions, which lead to mysteries when it comes to the story of our human evolution. So what we know for sure is that the Nikiti ape did exist, and in Greece we have multiple ape species who lived there during the Miocene, these being Graecopithecus, Uranopithecus, and of course the possibility that Aurorin tugenensis roamed in Crete, as I've interviewed Professor Per Alberg from the Uppsala University in Sweden, and I covered this possibility in a video on the channel a while ago as well. Both videos will be linked in the description down below, so you can check both of those out. The interview with him lasted for about 40 minutes, and it's an absolute joy to listen to him. Of course, it sounds fantastical to write an article with the headline reading that human ancestors evolved in Europe and not in Africa. It sure sounds damn groundbreaking and definitely gets lots of clicks. But the biggest issue that I personally have with the Greek Reporter article is the fact that this is not a new suggestion. This is not a new discovery. In fact, Back in April of 2019, this was already brought to the public by News Scientist. And for the past five years, new articles keep being written and pop up on Google as if this is all groundbreaking new information, even though it's been discredited numerous times and the headline itself is honestly just straight up clickbait. I have explained the out of Africa theory in a long video earlier this year, showing all sides, all possibilities, and how easy it is for people to be misinformed and misunderstand the evolutionary theory because it is one of the more difficult theories out there. It's a mosaic, it's not just a straight line, you know? So back in 2019, the first article that was published about the Nikiti fossils, they were appointed to Uranopithecus, implying that this species was the last common ancestors between modern apes and humans. But Uranopithecus is less likely to be a bipedal hominin. So therefore, it seems that David Began has changed it into Graecopithecus freibergi, as the possibility that Graecopithecus was bipedal is quite a bit stronger. But that still doesn't mean that the Nikiti fossils actually belong to an ancestral species of Graecopithecus. And it also still doesn't mean that Graecopithecus was a direct ancestor of the Australopithecines, and thus us, modern humans. All of this is way too suggestive to make any sort of claims. The fossils themselves are incredible enough, and we don't need fantastical speculations. And we definitely do not need websites like Greek Reporter chugging out old information, repackaging it as if it's new, and making these clickbaity headlines. 
The Nikiti fossils are an upper and lower jaw. You have no idea if the species was actually bipedal from just looking at the jaw. That doesn't make any sense. I often look at theories surrounding the ancient world, not just from the alternative history side, but also from the scientific side, as both sides make claims, and both sides need to be held to the same scrutiny. And I take my research really seriously, and I feel like it's my due diligence to investigate and give you, my viewers, the information in a clear and concise manner so that you understand what's going on. And I will always give you my sources in the description down below beneath all my videos. So you can do your own research if you feel like it. And of course, fact check me and make sure that what I'm saying is actually correct. Let's keep each other accountable. Okay, but now that that rant is over, I want to point you towards this here on screen. This is the latest merchandise design that's for sale in my merch store. Homeowner lady. You say what? Back when I made my first video on the species of homo na lady, the YouTube closed captions kept thinking that I was talking about homeowner lady. And this has become an inside joke of my channel since. So I've teamed up with Lady Pink NYC, the incredibly amazing graffiti artist from New York, and she created this design for me. So everyone who watches my channel is now able to walk around with their own homeowner lady merch. So get your hoodie or your t-shirt in the merch store, and you can go to historywithkaylee.com or click the merch link in the description down below. I personally am absolutely in love with this design, and I'm so grateful for her for making this and sharing it all with us. And yeah, with that said, I mean, Nikiti fossils are awesome, but there's no evidence for it pointing to human evolution starting in Europe. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner. Don't make me cry, just do it, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It truly means the world to me. Uh, I was in a foul, foul mood today before filming because my car just wouldn't start and I have no idea what the hell is wrong with it. Probably that my battery died and I don't know why because I drove it like two days ago. Uh, must be some electrical issue and uh, I'll have to go to a garage and let a mechanic look after it and it's gonna take a lot of money. And that sucks. So I've been in a super foul mood. I tried to be as bubbly and positive as I possibly could be and I hope that you didn't mind me not being my happy-go-lucky self as usual. So uh, yeah, sorry for that. See you in the next video. Okay, bye.